So I had a big crash in Phillip Island in 2000 in practice and Peter was one of the first guys on the phone to check if I was okay because I, I sort of knocked myself around fairly badly and then I sort of struggled a bit to come out of that crash that time and he sort of got with me at one stage and sort of talked me through some of that. So it's, it's a lot later in my career that I've sort of, that instantly comes to my mind. Um, but looking back on me as a child, with my dad racing cars and Peter racing back in them days, he was the icon of motorsport. He was what we all looked up to, him and Moffat, uh, were our idols uh, that forced, I suppose, me into wanting to follow my career in a professional motorsport. Because, uh, as I say, I was brought up in a motor, motor racing family and to see that what those guys were doing professionally and, and how to do it, I sort of tried to model myself a bit around those sort of guys.